Hey everybody, Nick here from Fit for Life Consultants and it's time for another online article discussion video. Today we're going to talk about this article I found on Yahoo Shine. Uh, you know, normally my, most of my articles come from Yahoo and Yahoo does a good job of uh, pushing forward articles from other sites. And this one is called Winning the Battle, Childhood Obesity Rates Are Finally Dropping. Now, the title may seem a little deceiving, but in the end, even if it's just a little bit, it is a uh, good thing. So here we're going to start off with the article. As it even says at the beginning, sadly, the statistic only applies to two to four year olds. Um, but hey, that's a great start. It really is. And, um, and anything that, uh, as I'm just paraphrasing, as it says right here, it delays the onset of obesity. Um, it was written by Babbel.com, Healthy Living. It was found there and by Heather Neal. I think she did a great job with this article, especially because she has a kid of her own. And uh, she goes on to speak about that later. Uh, CDC reports childhood obesity rates increasing in only three states between 2008 and 2011, Colorado, Tennessee, and Pennsylvania. They only looked at 43 states, though, and they saw a decrease in 19 of those states while the other state around the same. The lowest decreases included Florida, Georgia, Missouri, New Jersey, and South Dakota. Now, you know, people may think that's not a good thing, but honestly, to me, especially having such a passionate view on childhood obesity, being in that position myself, I find that this obesity epidemic has gotten to the point where finally we are seeing little battles won here and there. Uh, CDC is doing a big job. I really plan on contacting them explaining my story of how I was obese most of my life, you know, showing them photos and telling them what I'm doing now and trying to do. And who knows, maybe they will throw some support my way. I would really love to um, work with people that are really trying to make a difference because they know as much as I know and as much of all of us know that if this continues, it's just going to be a bad, it's going to be a bad future. It is going towards a bad future. Um, Obviously, what they're recommending is to keep kids active and, and making uh, healthier foods more affordable to low, uh, low econ economy families, um, low income families. And, and really, this one out of eight preschoolers are obese. You know, to be so young and to be categorized in that level, you know, you're just setting yourself up for that because they say three out of five kids um overweight kids between the ages of three to five are five times more likely to be overweight or obese as they grow up it's very true because guess what kids develop habits you know they're a sponge they're developing habits they observe everything and they learn from that so if they have bad eating habits being inactive being a couch potato all the technology that is being given to them and not making an emphasis as well as being active on the side um, it really is putting a strain on their future. It is putting, it's setting them, them, them up for a bad, bad future in the sense of physical and psychological health. Um, because when you're big and obese, you're not going to be happy with yourself. Low self-esteem issues. Um, there's just a whole bunch of things. You don't feel good. You know, you're not positive all the time just a whole bunch of things that I, I experienced myself and till this day i have a couple of relapses here and there but overall getting in better shape has definitely been a big improvement for me um let's see what else we have okay so cdc recommends this is something i very much implore to school districts to keep their gyms and playgrounds open after hours so kids can continue to be active to have a place to go and, and exercise and, and run around or it doesn't even have to be exercise, it's just running around, being kids like it was in the back in the day. You know, that will really help, you know, kids just you know, be active and being active, they're burning calories and they're developing better and, and that just keeps them away from the risks of obesity as well. So Heather goes on here to talk about um, her 19-month-year-old baby and saying that she, the kid is at risk of the overweight category. So what they do, they don't even, uh, they don't really go and play that much all the time. There's no planned exercise regimen. What they do, they walk whenever possible, take the stairs instead of the elevator. Um, 
Make sure you give them fruits and vegetables. Trust me, kids will like fruits, most of them. And vegetables, if you, you get them used to it from the beginning, they're more likely to like it than if you just let them have whatever they want and then just give them that. Some kids are tougher than others, but, you know, just try and make it fun. Um, and also make sure they get good sleep. Their developing sleep is very important. And also drink water. A lot of calories for kids comes from drinks. As I explained in the a video before this, drinks, sugary drinks, play a big part in calories and empty calories. And just uh, it really adds to the adds to the problem so drinking water instead or you know as, as uh, she recommends put fruit in it and gives it a little flavor you know you don't have to put our artificial flavoring just fruits in general anything but try and really establish good habits from the beginning don't and if you already try try and do it now and make it fun and and really set a good example for your kids so yeah that wraps it up for this video i'm probably gonna have a couple more i'm gonna try to do uh, as I said, I really am passionate, especially about childhood obesity. I'm trying to help people out there. I'm glad that the CDC is doing a lot to support. Uh, I know that it is being implemented in a lot of states now. Not all, but it should be. But um, the fact that something is being done and the fact that it's being, you know, the, the rates are decreasing little by little. It's, it's, I'll take it. I will take it. So, yeah, that wraps it up for this video, and uh, be on the lookout for the other ones. As always, please comment, share, like the video. You know, even if a couple of people are watching these, these are good for in the future uh, or whenever. It's just spreading the word. So, you guys have a great fit day, and I will talk to you guys later.